Hello, this is Claudia. Today I'll be doing a voiceover tutorial on how you can hand draw your speech bubbles for your comic on Medibank Paint Pro. This is a really easy way to customize what type of speech bubbles you're going to create for your comic. So first off, we're going to start off by creating a new layer to sketch out how you would like your speech bubbles to be like. So I'm in the process of sketching it out and trying certain things. I'm using a light pink because that is what I intend for the speech bubble, the color for speech bubbles to be later on. So I'm lowering the opacity of this, the sketch layer and creating a new layer. Now I'm using the shape tool and creating ellipses for where I would like the circular speech bubbles to be like. I can use the transform tool to move the bubbles as I like. Later on, I decided that uh, purple would be better for a different character. So, yeah. So now we're going to make the tails. I'm going to use the pen tool to just draw how I, would like the, how I would like the tails to be like in the same color as the ellipse that was made. I'm filling in the, the little tail. And I'm, uh, I'm doing the same thing to the purple speech bubble as well. So now we have two speech bubbles completed. You can actually lower the opacity as you wish. Like some people like to have the opacity slightly lower so that they can see the backgrounds better. Now I'm just renaming the layers. What now you can do is control click the layer and either press control B or go to your select panel to draw selection border. You can select how thick or thin you would like the border to be. And you can use trial and error to figure out what's what's your preference. So now I'm creating a new folder for the text that I'm gonna use. And I'm just adjusting the font sizes, fooling around with it. And what's nice is that you can preview how the text is going to turn out. Right now, I'm actually using the Medibang Paint Pro Cloud fonts, which is um, CC Wild Words. Usually for my personal comics, I either use this font or I use a font that I created myself. This comic had no script at all. It was just a sample comic that I wanted to make to show you guys how to make the speech bubbles. And we're done. Yay. Uh, if, you, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this voiceover tutorial. I haven't done one in a very, very long time. Uh, please tell me if you, if you would like to have more voiceover tutorials soon. Thank you.